Shut up and sit down. Hey, good morning, everyone. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. And I just wanted to uh, follow up with my thanks to Folter Tech for winning their uh, filament giveaway. And uh, actually, it arrived yesterday. And so here it is in the box that it came in. Um, so I just want to do a quick, probably a reel of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just take it out of the box, show you how it's uh, boxed up, and uh, and then I'll probably print some things with that and then show that to you after the fact. So um, here it is. Again, uh, the box, uh, fairly nondescript uh, box. Uh, that's okay with me. I'd prefer they spent money on the filament rather than the packaging. But uh, it says here, gold, ABS, uh, Ultratech, LLC. So let's open this. Let's go up and see what we have in here. All right, wow. That's a uh, big spool. <laughs> um, well packed, uh, vacuum pack there. Again, says uh, gold, Boulder Tech. Get that sucker to, uh, there we go, kind of focus. Um, filament uh, spool is definitely substantial, so screw holding it together and whatnot. Uh, winding on the uh, filament uh, doesn't look too, uh, too fantastic, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it's kind of a uh, Back and forth and whatnot, but um, should be fine. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's very thin though, compared to the uh, the other filament. So I need to make sure it's the right size. Uh, you know, I want to do that. I don't want to open it if it's not the right size. But anyway, uh, stand by. Okay, I'm back. I got my uh, handy dandy digital caliper out. Let's put this guy in millimeters. See if I can. Uh, 1.86 through the outside. So uh, I suppose that's 175. Yeah, it just looks. Uh, let me measure the filament I have on the spool right now. Uh, it's a slight bit bigger. No, 173. All right, so maybe it's just my imagination because there's so much of it on this pole. But uh, let's uh, find my, of course, all my tools are spread throughout my entire office. There we go. That's what I was looking for. My exact enough. We're going to get you in it. That fantastic rush of air. Okay. Yeah, well, there we go. Let's uh, put this guy up. Do an actual measurement of it. What we got? So, 177, 176, 177. That's uh, about uh, typical for, uh, make sure I'm zeroed, from what I have on the printer right now. So, uh, 175. Seven six. That's pretty good. Um, hundredth of a millimeter off. Two hundredth of a millimeter should not cause too much of a problem. Um, all right. So I'm gonna uh, load this guy up into the uh, into the printer and uh, find something to print and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Stand by. Hey, okay, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the uh, time lapse there. That was the fish being printed with the gold Folger Tech P um, ABS. Uh, so I printed it uh, 255 degrees Celsius print head and 100 degrees uh, print bed. And so what I'm going to show you here real quick are some still pictures. Uh, the first one here is actually the fish uh, right on the, the print bed. I uh, had yet to remove it. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks um, nearly identical to the uh, orange PLA. Um, next picture is a picture of a close-up of the tail. Uh, you can see there was some little lifting there in the middle. Um, so uh, I don't know if I need to raise the temperature of the print bed or not. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. I want to move forward printing with this. Uh, the next 
uh, picture here is actually a side-by-side -side of the gold ABS fish printed right next to the orange PLA. Um, they look, uh, again, nearly identical. The quality is about the same. Um, looks pretty good overall. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, so uh, the ABS uh, really printed very well. I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, got a couple issues need to resolve, but uh, other than that, I think it turned out uh, just as well uh, as the uh, PLA. The next picture I'm showing you here is actually a uh, close-up of the filament uh, when I was changing from the white PLA that I had in the printer to the um, the gold. And what I want to point out here is I'm trying to uh, zoom in here a little bit. Um, the filament when it was uh, extruding, you can see on the left-hand side here how the PLA is very nice and smooth. That's pretty much how it comes out. Uh, and the gold filament, um, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's got little bumps in it, a little splotchy. Uh, it's kind of kinky. Uh, you know, not kinky that way, but kinky. Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, I don't know if this was just the first couple off the roll. Um, if for some reason that they were maybe, um, uh, maybe got wet or something. I don't know. I didn't hear any sizzling or any popping. So there was none of that going on. Uh, just, uh. It was just interesting. Now, this is my first time ever printing with ABS, so I don't know if uh, it's just me, <laughs> it's the printer, uh, or something like this. So uh, that's that. Um, so I just want to show you uh, now a quick uh, uh, show you the actual fish. All right. Uh, again, it looks pretty darn good. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, zitting on the uh, inside the ribs here. Um, try to get a, maybe a picture of that a little close up or something to get this guy to focus in on that. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. I think maybe you can see it a little bit. Uh, but other than that, uh, it looks good. Um, it's a little bit, just a little bit smaller um, than the PLA whenever I laid them on top of each other. Um, it was just a little bit smaller. I, I think I remember reading somewhere that the PLA uh, is a little bit, uh, a little bigger, maybe it shrinks a little or something, but um, other than that, uh, no perceptible differences. I like the color, it's uh, it's interesting. It's not as shiny as the uh, as the ABS or as the PLA you can see there, uh, same lighting. Um, it doesn't have that, that kind of sheen to it, but the gold actually has some really great color to it. Um, it seems to actually filled in a little bit better. Um, you can sign it, see the head here a little. Uh, get a close up of that guy, maybe. Get this guy to focus on that. Come on, there you go. We'll have to get a picture. There we go. So it filled in a little bit better. You can see some little uh, pinholes from the orange. Um, just from the, the way it was laid down, but other than that, turned out very well. All right, so I'll continue playing around with it. Um, but uh, again, you know, thanks to Folder Tech for uh, giving me the roll. That was amazing. And then um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, uh, I appreciate the thumbs up anyway. Please subscribe. Oops, it's going to be in that corner. Um, and uh, tell your friends, uh, share the video, and. Uh, Report back in the comment section down below if you have any questions. Thanks.